As usual, we start analyzing the malicious Excel document from the auto-open entry point. After scrolling down a bit, we encounter the first formulas. If we try to execute the now function using the Silicon Excel emulator, we are being warned that the function is not supported. The same happens with the formula fill function. The latter function is undocumented and is used to set the content of cells. In this case, it sets the content of two cells which are not yet present in the previous worksheet. As you can see, the reference sheet ends at row 25, but cells at row 30 and 26 are being set. To emulate the behavior of these two functions, I wrote a small Python script. The value returned by the script for the now function is simply the pre-computed value stored in the original Excel document. As a side note, if you want to create a helper script for the Silicon Excel emulator, you can find a ready-to-use template among the Python code snippets. The implementation of the formula fill function sets the value of the specified cell. The last thing we need to do is to execute the script in order to register the helper class. Now that we support all the necessary functions, we can start to emulate the malware. The last call to the formula fill function sets the value of the cell next to it, based on the return value of the now function. While the first two calls added cells to the previous sheet. The malware then registers the name Biolav as an alias of the URL download to file API. After that it downloads multiple payloads. The URL of each payload is based on the previously processed return value of the now function. The code then jumps to the previous sheet. The first formulas we encounter just return strings. We then encounter a large formula with some junk code. We're just interested in the part with the exec function. So we extract that part of the formula and emulate it. The malware tries to execute the first payload via RunDLL32. The formulas that follow do the exact same thing with the other payloads. And then the execution stops. This sample offered us the opportunity to show how to extend the emulator from Python. 